Welcome back to Lemon Canyon, episode 3. We've got the bad tide approaching, and we've got the beavers just bobbing about there, you know, hanging about, doing whatevs, whatevs. I'm going to be leaving the game paused for a little bit here, because I realised a few things while editing the last episode. And the most pressing one, being that the beavers are going to get sick by going through this water here in approximately 0.2 days. Now, we do have healers available. I stand corrected. We have decontamination pods. Well, that requires metal, which we are just not there yet. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and pass some structures and get a single platform on the go. Like that. On both sides of the crossing here. So we come out here, and we go into here. And I'm just going to delete this breeding pod. Yeah, delete that. Path all that up. Well, pathed up. I'd rather not delete the stairs, you know. The natural slope that we have here. Which does mean I have to get quite creative over here. So I'm thinking we're going to demolish this mangrove and these mangroves here that's five mangroves down for the sake of you know keeping these slopes about but i like them i like the natural stairs we want to get all of this maximum priority here because if any of our beavers get sick there's nothing we can do about it i'm going to delete these stairs as well because there's four planks in there which will help with the build any planks in there no but i'll delete them just so they don't end up in there pick those up quickly please and we have plankers on the plank we don't have any logs. Looks like we've got another 15 days or there or thereabouts for this area. But we do have trees over here. Plop a little lumberjack flag down there. On the priority as well. We're going to have to have that built too. We'll bring down the priority of these as well. There we go. Anything else maximum priority? How close are we here? I might bring the priority down on that. And the priority down even further on these. I think we've got the priorities in order now. Now one last thing I'm going to do. Because of this bad water when it comes rushing down here. It's going to kill all the crops. Going to infect them, make them inedible. So we're going to switch with our farm hooses to harvesting. All three of them. How many builders do we have? Four. Lovely. And I think that'll do for now. Let's hope we can get some food in and get those bridges in before the bad water hits. I'm already starting to run out here. I might pause these for now. Oh, especially that one, because that one's ready to go. That's a nice little backup, that. Because we do have 14 baby beavers. <laughs> we have quite the population at the moment due to uh, a little risky backup plan here. While I'm here, I may as well plant that water pump. And here we are. The sun's rising. Ooh, here we go. Our first bad tide in Lemon Canyon. All right. I can only hope. I'm going to leave these water pumpers sloping the whole time. I can only hope that we get these bridges built pretty quickly before too many beavers get sick. And you know what I might do actually, I've just thought. Once I see the barred water getting about there, I may unpause this levee here. Because it's got all the construction in it. And that's the first thing out of all of the high priority things that have been placed. So, you know, hopefully that gets built and it'll give her a little bit of time, maybe. Alright, let's watch the barred water. Here it is. The barred water is spewing from the good sources. You can see it over here as well, look at that. The bad water from these power sources. Oh, it's just going to be a pure bad water stream, that. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's keep an eye on the bad water. How far is it? Oh, it's just starting to spill there. What are we doing? Yeah, it's just starting to go and doing the waterfall. I don't have much time. We got one piece in. We got one piece in. It's better than doubt, I suppose. Right, wait, where's the bad water? Where's the bad water? All right, I think we need to start thinking about... You see, I'm in two minds because if I resume this, it's going to block up the river. Which means it's going to keep at least, you know, this one block's worth of bad water at the end of this 11 day bad water season. Oh, oh no. Can I see the efficiency of this while it's working? I think I'm going to have to unpause this and just deal with the, the layer of bad water at the end. Ah, uh, when, when to unpause? When to unpause? Ah. Uh, See, the later I leave it in the day as well, it might not get done. I need to keep an eye on the water colour. Once that water starts shifting, when it starts getting a bit, a bit rusty, I'm going to resume it. Or, you know what, I'll, I'll go to 24 hour workday if I need to. We're not worried about the time of day this happens. Stressful, because this could be it. This could very well be the last episode of Lemon Canyon, and I have huge plans for this place. Oh, here's the rusty water. The rusty water's here. All right. Ooh. How long do I leave it? How long do I leave it? I'm leaving it that long. All right, go, 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 go. Get that built. Speed three. Get it built. Yes, come on. Yes, who was that? You need a congrats. Vonnegut, well done. All right, now, yeah, get that built as quick as you can as well, please. Or should I, should I concentrate on the platform or the dam? 
I think the dam might be better because if we get the dam built. Hmm. Right, pause, pause, pause. That's built. It's got a worker in it. These are marked for cotton. Yeah. Oh, why don't I have loads of choppers over here? All right, lumberjack flag. Delete these here. I'm going to go crazy with chopping logs. Maximum priority. All of these. Every option. Go. We aren't going to be sucking up any more water. So I'm going to recycle some things. Anything that's not built yet? Yeah, there's some logs in there. Delete you. And if I get 12 logs for each of these, I need 30. And then planks. Planks are 1 to 1. It's only 45. 12, 24, 36, 48, 50. Get those picked up oh, with a quickness, please, peeps. And then I want to make sure. See, we're out of power here because I've just dammed up the water flow. So if we go to power, you get a large power wheel on the go. <laughs> oh, yes, it fits. Thankfully. Oh, there's eight planks in there. Okay, get deleted. Pick those up. And then just to make sure they don't disappear. There we go. And then what I'm going to do there is pop down a large power wheel. Because it has lots and lots of sides that the power comes out of. We can move our little gear workshop there for now. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That'll do. A hundred ruddy logs though. I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. Well, we will, we will. We will, we will, we will. We will. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Right, how many planks was that? Eight. There's no planks in storage. Do I have anything else that needs planks that's being built? These stairs? No. Anyone start the platforms? No. Alright, go. If this is it, this is it. I've made me bed and I'm lying in it. For better for worse. Look at that filthy bad water. There's going to be sick beavers really soon. You can see it drying up all the berries and trees and everything already. Oh, it's red like blood of the beavers. Oh, are we coming along? Getting there. Got some power flowing. Obviously, while it's still happening, it's still happening, isn't it? Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get that built. And then hopefully, I don't know, we got 100 logs in there somehow. We need builders. We need builders. Four builders. Right, what can I pause? These really aren't doing anything anymore, are they? Are they? I'll pause two water pumpers. Because I don't think they're really doing anything anyway. That should give us the build as we need. And yeah, pick up all those Kohlrabi's farmers. Pick as many as you can, because we've got it. A long, a long time to somehow survive this. Um, very unlikely at this point that I'm seeing. All right, these water pumpers can't be doing anything now. Let's have a look. The beaver's about to go in. Oh, it is. It's still, it's still getting some water out. So we'll keep them going for now while they're still doing something. We don't have any workers. The worker is not in. Yeah. Every time the beaver goes through that bad water, it's a bad day. Are we coming along with the... Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Only five more planks. We've got the water flow up-ish for it at least. Power output's so low. I might just pause one of these. There's no need. Oh, now the power output's kicking off. Oh, now it's dropping again. Alright, so we can power one of these at 100% efficiency. 24-hour workday. I want this build tonight. Come on, last plank. I want the last plank in there. You dropping the last plank in? Come on, Zabian. Get it planked. And you, up to three. Right. So, we've got the dam in. Woohoo! We didn't even pick up those planks there either. Alright, while the water's flowing. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna have to delete one of these. Yep, I'm gonna have to delete it so the water continues to drain. I don't know. Oh, I think this is it, you know? Yep, our beavers are starting to die of hunger. Oh no! And we have no way of making any more food. Not with the amount of water we have anyway. Officially pausing all the farmhouses. That's us done. The dam's about over top as well. Yep. There they are. We've got our sick beaver pals. Look at them. Flying on the infested ground there. Look at them. Poor oh, Bobby. Just moping about. we got some water to slurp up. Make you feel better. Why oh, yeah, I feel marginally better here. Marginally. I'm pausing the jobs from across the... All of these water pumpers here. We've got 168 logs. What can we do? What can we do? Oh, there's a dead beaver. Died of hunger. They're all dying of hunger. So I had a look. I could get a fluid dump, create a little patch of, of land for the, the beavers to farm. But I just don't, we just don't have enough water. Oh, there's the dam over spill in there. There's the bad water. Russian dune. We'll be able to make loads of planks. The berries deed? No, but there will be. 
We have nothing. We have nothing. I need to actually set up this dam. <laughs> the way I want to use it. Uh, don't synchronize for now. Just have it zero. You know what? The whole thing. Just put it at zero. Flood the whole place. Flood the lot. Look at all the power we're making. 300 horsepower. You only need 75. Go on. Get it gone. <sighs> it's just out of water now. Out of food. Out of healthy beavers, essentially. Six beavers that aren't infected with bad water, and I have a feeling that that's going to change soon. Oh, just watched. Old mid dead. There we go. The last few beavers. Hocking up. Look at them hocking up. You're going to cork it soon anyway. Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry your little beaver heart about it there. There's one. Died of hunger. What will get you first, mate? Hunger or dehydration? Aye! The dam sorted itself out. So, the plan is... Go up there, go up there, and then just have this one down the bottom so it just flows like the river used to. It's incredibly unlikely that we'll get to experience that other than just now, theoretically. Why wait for the beavers to die? Or somewhere miraculously last four, <laughs> last four days, there's one healthy beaver is going to carry us through when this, this all goes. Right, it's dev mode again. I'm just whizzing through the next few days here. So all the beavers dead. Now all we do is wait. And there we go. Bad tide ended. It's a nice, lovely temperate season. It's a shame there's no beavers around to enjoy it. Making loads of power. Could be making all the planks, but instead they're all dead. Nothing but dead blueberries, dried up oaks, and dead kohlrabis. You can see me dams working as well. We're getting the reservoir behind. We're not flooding anything. Oh, I had it all planned out. It was going to be great. It was going to be great. So now I'm just waiting for the nice clean water to get through. Just to be fair, I could help matters by dropping this to zero. You know what? Let's at least get a cam on this. We might never get to see this while the beavers are here, but we're going to enjoy it for ourselves. Zero. There's the tidal wheel. Whoosh. Floods all the land. Here comes the nice blue water. So, let's get this back up to three. Back up to three. And if we get to it... I'd like it if you could plot the floodgate there, please. Of course you went that side of it. If we get there, I wouldn't mind a floodgate, please. Right. As the dawn dawns, we come out of dev mode and unleash our, our secret master risky plan. We unpause... All the breeding pods that are near the end, which is unfortunately not many of them because I didn't quite keep on top of it like I was supposed to. Maybe. Yeah, we're just going to unpause all the breeding pods and see which one pops a sprog. So, I know we're going to get a sprog here. Sprog, welcome to the world, Sulin. You've been born into what some would say a cruel world. You may want to prefer to be this embryo on the left here because there isn't all that much for you to do. You can, yep, stand around. You can look at all the future jobs that I desperately need you to grow up and do. But most importantly, you can look forward to uh, starving or dehydrating in the next, until you grow up. Any babies born over here? No. This is just gonna be the adventures of Sulinia and their, their attempts to survive against all odds. They start by, you know, having a good kip, getting the shelter up as any good story starts. I mean, this shelter and sleeps full, it could come outside, but what's the point really? Quite depressing. Oh, Sullen's up in the boat. You're gonna go for a step in the field. This once was a kohlrabi field. Yep, yeah. yeah. this is where all the beavers used to do their work. That was the old farmhouse. We're gonna go through the old district centre. Builders used to work there. Yeah, this is where the water used to get pumped. If you grow up and However many days time, you'll be able to pump water too. If you grow up. And Sulin starving. Okay. Speed three. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sulin. So close yet so far. And I don't think any of the other breeding pods are. Yeah, that ran out of berries. It's just Sulin, mate. It's just you. You are the colony's only hope. You need to somehow survive. You need to be a water pumper and a farmer. And do all that within the next three days, if you don't mind. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just leave speed four on until the inevitable happens here. Eh? Just going to slowly zoom out and uh, probably 
end the episode when when Sulin dies. Considering Sulin is the the last hope here. Yeah. There he is, running about for our Sulin. When will he die? And you can see that little blue dot. You know what? I'll just keep it close. Come on, Sulin, you can do it. You can make it. Is that him dead? Oh, speeding past and he died. Just to. Oh. Oh, is that uh, an ending that sums up the series? We had plans of grandeur, a grand monologue about Sulin. And how he was going to save the colony. But instead, we'll just let the water wash over us. Until next season. Toodles. I'll be back, beavers.